Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about judgments and how our judgments of other people can cause us to experience them differently to what's actually going on inside of them. And I'm going to share with you an experience I had with an old friend of mine. Um, he it was when he was driving and something I learned about him was that he used anger to get what he wants in life. But it also coloured how he experienced people in his life. And this particular story I'm going to tell you about him was when he was driving. Um, so when he used to drive, there were a number of things that used to I suppose, increases anger <laughs> and quite, quite significantly. One of the things that he absolutely hated was if somebody didn't say thank you to him if he had let them in or anything else. He also got really upset if um, he waved to somebody that he knew and that person didn't respond in kind. It always amazed me that his interpretation of what was going on was so different to my interpretation when I experienced similar things when I was out and about. His interpretation was that the person was being rude, standoffish, was um, dismissing him and being nasty to him. Whereas my interpretation of when people behave like that is that they're most likely miles away, that something major has gone on in their life, that they're daydreaming <laughs> and any number of things. I don't generally judge that there's malicious intent. I think this is the most important thing about judgments is our judgments come from our own experiences and from what's going on inside of us. They colour how we experience people out in the world and we put things onto those people that aren't always the truth. So in regards to my friend, um, he believed that people were angry and maybe vindictive and I suppose just not always kind of heart. Whereas now I sound really big headed that I always go round and I'm always kind of heart. <laughs> wasn't quite what I was trying to say. <laughs> but I generally believe that, you know, that the best in people. I believe that people are making the best, doing the best that they can. Um, I believe that we don't always show up as we want to in the world, um, but that we're all trying the best that we can. So that's generally how I tend to interact with people in my everyday life. And I'm sharing this because when somebody pushes your buttons or when you judge someone because they're not doing something the way you think it should be done, Maybe this time round, you might pause a little and just be aware that what you're judging is coming from your own preconceptions, your own ideas of what people are like in the world. And we can never know fully what's going on for somebody else. And it's also something that's very important to remember about your own sort of close family members and those that are dear to you. You can presume to know something about somebody but actually, what's going on from that person, you won't ever really truly know unless you actually speak to them and ask them. Quite often, when we're feeling vulnerable, we tend to give a different message to other people. So we might come across as angry, sad, remote, removed, or defensive, all number of different things that we implore, ploy to cover up what's really going on inside of ourselves. And... When we do that with the people that we love, then they experience us as different to what's actually going on inside. So I know that when I was a teenager, one of my defence mechanisms was to, I suppose, become kind of superior. <laughs> I know that that's how I was experienced by other people, that they thought I had my nose in the air and that I was, I suppose, putting myself above them. But actually, what was going on for me was I was just trying to keep everything that was going on for me, all my emotions and whatever was upsetting me, down. So I would clam up, I would pull back, and I would just go through life as if nothing had affected me, even though it had deep down. And I hope that through sharing this with you, when you interact with people, you won't take the way that they respond to things um, personally, and that you'll try and sit with them and explore and find out what's really going on underneath it all. And that maybe when you pass somebody in the street or when you're driving along the road and they don't say thank you or they don't let you in or they don't wave to you if you know them, that instead of getting upset that they are being rude or offish or that you've done something to upset them, just maybe think that they're doing the best that they can. 
<laughs> and that they might be daydreaming or they might have something else on their plate and that the only way you'll truly know is to speak to them and to ask them and to have an open, conscious, deep conversation with them with love and understanding. I hope you've enjoyed this little episode this week. So much love from me to you. And in the show notes below is a link to my website where you can contact me should you want to do any coaching with me. I do free chemistry calls with people, as well as links to my social media where you can connect with me as well and to my online courses.